Corporal St. John to Lieutenant Weaver. Come back. St. John to HQ. This is Weaver. What can I do for you, Corporal? Uh, your requisition form says you need mercury. Any idea where I can get it? Yeah, sure. I should have written that shit down for you. It comes from, uh, Cinnabar. Corey's unit scouted out of mine north of Diamond Lake. Head there, radio me when you arrive. Yes, sir. Hey, between you and me, if the colonel isn't around, stop with all the yes sir, no sir bullshit, all right? Makes me feel old. Corporal St. John, is it? Yes, sir. Come in. Just enjoying a cup of tea, herbal, courtesy of uh, Lieutenant Whitaker. Would you like to try some? It's very good for the digestion. Uh, no, sir. Thank you, sir. I'm, I was just looking for the duty roster. I have an assignment for you. Men, Corporal. Not that they deserve to be called that. They've taken one of ours. Lieutenant Justine Norwood. Fine officer. And they have her, so, uh, yes, I will get her back, sir. With the help of men like you, we're going to take back this world. Dismissed. Captain Corey, um, hit the Diamond Lake outpost, I assume? Copy that.
Corporal. Hey, Serge. Oh, oh, okay then. Gas it is. Good, good choice, gotta say. Yep, good, good old high octane gasoline coming right up. Oh, Cor Corporal St. John, you, you stay safe, yeah? Corporal, good. I have a job that requires your unique skills. Oh, sure, yeah, uh, yes, sir. You remember Vasquez? The man that went AWOL. Yeah, we tracked him to the logging camp, I remember. Well, this man, Sergeant Lee Anderson, was his partner. He was about to be arrested when he killed a guard and took off. Oh, your men have quite the coat of honor. Our men? You're one of us now, remember? I've marked the location on where he was last seen on your map. Apparently, like Vasquez, he wasn't alone. Great. Corporal, uh, what can I get for you? I got the gate. Captain Corey, I'm at the site where Sergeant Anderson was last seen. Well, if he still has it, take his militia insignia. I won't have it soiled by the stench of a traitor. You got it. St. John out.
This is it. What do we got? What is that? Anderson, the dragon? Well, how the hell am I gonna get my bounty? through here. <sighs> you still got your militia armband.
one of ours. Let him in. Corporal, uh, what can I get for you? Sarge. Captain, I found your man, Anderson. And you were right. He still had his militia insignia. He's dead? Well, let's just say that he had a run-in with a pack of wolves long before I got to him. It's a fitting end for a murderer and a thief. Yes, sir. Thank you, Corporal. Dismissed. Hey, Serge. Oh, they call it petrol where I come from. I guess it's gas to you. out in the shit tracking down that drug trafficker. Okay, okay. I won't tell you that. But I am. <laughs> Damn it. Taylor, you're gonna get yourself killed. No, man, no, no. Hey, I followed a bunch of them up the highway. Andy Seven? Hey, hey, hey. It was, no, it was, it was daylight. <laughs> the weather was clear. I didn't see a single freak. Uh, but there is this... <laughs> This group of, of men ended up at the ski lodge. Did you even know there was a ski lodge out here? <laughs> I didn't know that. <sighs> Taylor. Yeah. It's a sweet ass setup too. If I ever decide to bug out, that is where I'm going. <laughs> oh shit, I gotta run. They're, they're stopping at another camp. Taylor out. <laughs> Taylor. Taylor, god damn it. Get St. John to Captain Corey. St. John to Corey, come back. St. John, I've just spoken with the Colonel. He's assigned you to the research division? Captain, uh, research division, uh, I guess you would call it that. Uh, I'm helping Lieutenant Weaver and Lieutenant Whitaker. Good. They can use all the help you can offer. I don't know how much help I'm gonna be, and just sort of their errand boy for now. And actually, that's why I radioed in. Lieutenant Whitaker gave me a requisition form that says...
Yeah, time to light it up. Beacon St. John. Colonel, Corporal St. John reporting in, and I'm at the last location where Lieutenant Norwood was seen. Uh, seems pretty fortified, sir. Are you, are you sure you want me to tackle this alone? Just I saw follow something. orders. <laughs> yes, sir. Get okay. Lieutenant, you in here? Here you are. You. I got you. I'm here. I'm in here. Okay, hang on. I'm coming. Hang on, I'm coming. How the hell are you doing, Lieutenant? St. John. Thank God I've given up hope. Oh, yeah? Well, a good friend of mine once told me, never give up hope, because you lose that. You may as well just pack it in. Keep that in mind next time I'm ambushed by a dozen squatters. Yeah, okay, all right, listen. Camp's clear and your bike's still in one piece, so can you just get back alone, huh? Yeah, I can handle it. Thank you, St. John. Sure, now get going. Go.
Colonel, sir, reporting in. It's, uh, well, oh, Jesus, it wasn't easy. But I got her out. Lieutenant Norwood is out. Good work, Corporal. I'll send the patrol out now. She said she could make it on her own, so, uh, I'll radio in later, make sure she made it. St. John out. Ear crossing, ah, something's never changed. Son of a bitch! Visit. Visitors sit there. It's gotta be it. Just gotta find some yeast. Kitchen, yeah. It's gotta be in the kitchen. Breakers. It had to be breakers. It couldn't be fucking easy, could it? the yeast.
again. That did it. St. John to Lieutenant Whitaker, reporting in. Deacon, uh, <clears throat> Corporal St. John, yes. I, uh, got the item on your requisition form, the yeast, there wasn't much. I I'm sure that whatever you have is gonna be fine. So, uh, just curious, uh, why do you need... Sorry, I'm right in the middle of something, I gotta go. I'll talk to you when you bring it in. Whitaker, out. Would you stop doing that, please? I'm sorry? I know that things are strange, but I can't help that right now. Well, I live in a barracks with a dozen militia assholes. Well, my wife lives in a private tent up on an officer's ridge. Nothing strange about that. Deacon. And the only time that I see her is when I'm done running one of her errands. Nothing strange about that either, ma'am. My yeast, thank you. Uh, are, are you baking something? I mean, if you need an oven, I know no, where to find no, one. No, no, I'm using it to create <clears throat> viral proteins that they, they trigger these antibodies. <laughs> but of course, you are being sarcastic. Bread, viral proteins, it's all the same to me. Hey, wait a second. Here. Thank you. You already said that. I meant for staying. Yes, ma'am. No, no. Set them over there. Thank you. Corporal St. John. This is Dr. Jimenez. St. John? Hey, Doc. This is Deacon. What can I do for you? Okay. Very St. John, good. good. I need you to stop by the infirmary. Uh, is something wrong? You need something? No, no. Nothing like that. I want to check on that arm. My arm? My, my arm's fine, Doc. <laughs> a burn like that? From a wood stove? It's nothing to play around with. You want La Infección? You come see me. That's in order. All right, Doc. All right, fine. Whatever you say. St. John out. Hey, 
Now that's some hardware, huh? Just saying. Now that's a gun. Hey, Corporal, you stay out of trouble, you hear me? Hey, Corporal. Sergeant, how's life? Yeah, I can fix that. Okay. Hey, Corporal, see ya. Ah, Corporal, man of the hour. Sarge. Hey, Doc. Uh... Come in. Sentence. Have a seat. Have a seat. Mm -hmm. oh. Let's look here. So, who did you ride with back in the day? Uh, <laughs> I don't know what you're uh, getting at. No me mientas. Look, Corporal. I spent 20 years in East LA patching up bandas de motoristas and every other kind of pandillero. I know the look. And this? No kind of wood stove did this. All right. Keep it clean. It'll heal on its own. Leave a nasty scar. But I want you to come back and see me in a couple of days. You got it. Funny thing. When the city burned and the hordes came in, neighborhoods at war for decades all came together. Fought together. Latinos, Gueros, Chinos, Bloods, Crips. Didn't matter. Crazy what it takes to bring people together sometimes, no? Thanks, Doc. Taylor, haven't heard from you in a while. I was afraid that maybe you'd gotten too close to that man you were tracking. Oh, I'm close, all right. I'm right in their friggin' backyard. Hey, I need your help, man. I'm, I'm at, the, at a small camp south of Crater Lake, just off the South Rim Drive. Taylor, listen to me. I have no idea what you're doing, but you got... Oh, shit! No, no, no! Let me go! Hey! No! Taylor? Taylor? Oh, damn it. St. John to Lieutenant Whitaker. Come back. Switching to a private channel. Hold on. Deacon, are you there? Yeah. Uh, hey, so I, I looked at that requisition form. It says that you want silicate? Yeah, silicate. I use it as a distilling medium in the column chromatographer. Ah, uh, column chrom... what? <sighs> Sorry, it's just it's the one part of my research that's actually going well. So, silicate, where do I get it? Oh, shit, I thought I marked it on the rack. Hold on. Okay, there's this little general store southwest of us near Mazama Village. You should be able to find it there. Okay, got it. Thank you. Sorry, 
Never mind. <clears throat> Carry on, Corporal. Yes, ma'am. Uh, Lieutenant. Sarah, out. Silicate. <laughs> what the fuck is silicate anyway? Captain, I'm here. Well, I just wanted to let you know that the Colonel gives an informal talk every day at dusk at the staging area where you were sworn in. Uh, yes, sir. Well, all these talks are informal. Enlisted men and women are expected to attend. <clears throat> uh, copy that, sir. Hurry up. Great. Colonel, sir, just checking in on Lieutenant Norwood. Oh, I've just read her report. She claims that you took down an entire drifter camp single-handed. Well... <laughs> well, I wasn't about to leave her in there alone, sir. Very good, Corporal. Captain Curry has put your name in for a promotion. I'm beginning to see why. Deacon, are you there? Deacon. I'm here. Oh. Look, I know we have a lot to talk about. Ma'am? This is a private channel. Deke? Okay. I want you to know that I meant what I said about you. About you staying and helping. I know this can't be easy for you. Come on, boy. Don't give up on it. Tell us where your camp is. Maybe we'll let you live. Fuck you. <laughs> Bring him down! I don't think he can hear us. Let's see if we can do something about that. I'm not telling you shit. Come on! Let's do it. Cut up! Hey, ah! 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 Can you hear that? Ah! 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 Get him the fuck out of here. Come on! Ah! Ah! What do you think? Maybe we can turn this in at that army camp. Get some credits. That's the last one. I just gotta find a way in.
Got it. Kill him! No, you man! No, no! Let you do it! Please, man. Do it! Get her to it! Kahoos! How you doing, Taylor? Um, you know, I've had better days, I'll be honest with you. Okay. Uh, Jesus. Okay, listen to me, pal. Take this, hold it against your head like that. Good. No, I want you to wait here. I'm gonna go radio Captain Curry. He's gonna send someone to pick you up, all right? All right, man. Yeah, hell yeah. Captain Corey, this is Corporal St. John. Come back. This is Corey. I'm here with Lieutenant Whitaker, checking on your progress. Corporal, I've told Captain Curry that you're an immense help. I don't know what I would do without you. Oh, oh thank you, there. That's great. I, it's not why I'm checking in. Captain, uh, there's a marauder camp just off of South Rim Drive. Marauders? This close to the island? Uh, no, listen, no, 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 no. Um, I dealt with these bastards, but we have an injured man. Private Taylor fucking slices you. Jesus, is he all right? Private Taylor? What's he doing out there? Yes, yeah, he's gonna live. But no, no idea what he was doing out here. I need you to send Doc, uh, Captain Jimenez and some men to come out and get him. I'll send you the coordinates. I'll head up there now and let him know. Hurry up. I'm here. Look, I know we have a lot to talk about. Ma'am? This is a private channel. Deke? Okay. I want you to know that I meant what I said about it. How you stay and help me. I know this can't be easy for you. Be careful. Hey, uh, where else am I gonna go? If I leave, they're gonna make me get back this really cool hat, so I'm starting to like this hat. some of the viral proteins. I got an appetite out here. I'll do that. Lieutenant Whitaker out. Taylor, how you doing, buddy? Like I said, man, I've had better days. Uh, <laughs> hey, I think the bleeding stopped. Oh, no, no, it hasn't. <laughs> Uh, help is on the way. You hang tight. Uh, you want me to come back? Wait with you? No, oh, oh, hell no, no, no. I mean, I, I already feel like a little bitch, you know. I'm, I'm fine, I'm fine, really. I'll stop by the infirmary later. I'll see how you're doing. Hey, I've seen that thing. It's pretty cushy. We better be out here, let me tell you. <laughs> yeah, I've seen it too. Uh, don't give the doc too much trouble. Uh, you got that? You can help. Here we go. 
So, okay, this will work. Okay, now, I just gotta find a way out of here. Sarah, are you there? I've, um, got the silicate you requested. Corporal St. John, yes, I'm here. I'm in a meeting with Lieutenant Weaver. Corporal St. John? What are you doing another run for me? Uh, I don't know. Um... Weaver! Corporal, report in to me when you get back to the island. Lieutenant Whitaker out. Doc, you there? This is Corporal St. John, the Doc Jimenez. Come back. Uh, St. John, how's the arm? Good, good. Uh, that ointment, or whatever it is that you gave me, it's some. Um, yeah, it's my brain. I'll be the judge of that. Hey, so I'm actually just checking in to see, uh, well, to see how well you know Lieutenant Weaver. Lieutenant Weaver? I know him as well as I know any of the officers. What? I don't know. I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm doing some runs for them, for him and Lieutenant Whitaker, and it just, it seems like he's, um, I don't know, he's, he's in her face all the time, and, uh, I don't fucking like it. <laughs> Lieutenant Whitaker can take care of himself. Listen to me, St. John. The Colonel tolerates a certain amount of racing amongst the officers. If I were you, I'd stay out of it. All right, Doc. And don't worry about Lieutenant Weaver. He's no saint, but I've met worse. Him and his help. Weaver, I swear to God. What, are you afraid of a little competition? I get out! Hey, is there a problem? Ma'am. Just a friendly discussion, Corporal. Lieutenant. What was that all about? <sighs> Nothing. It's just... Weaver, he thinks that the answer to everything is just to burn it all to the ground. God, fuck him. Yeah, fuck him. Here. <sighs> thank you. No, don't. <sighs> what now, Deacon? Thank me. Don't thank me. Every time you thank me, I end up outside with another one of your bullshit requisition forms. My bullshit? I, That's what you think this is? I, I, everything I that I'm doing is just that. bullshit? No! Of course you didn't mean it. You know, I don't understand why you're still here. Well, then let me enlighten you. I spent the last two years killing freaks. One by one, up close. So close that I could smell the flesh rotting between their teeth. So if you're working on something here that's going to take them all out at once, fuck it, I'm in. But if you don't want me here, you know what? Just give the order, ma'am. Deacon, wait. I'm sorry, okay? Look, I, I do need, I just, <sighs> thank, I appreciate your help. St. John, you there? Yeah, I'm here. This is Lieutenant Weaver. Have you even looked at my requisition form yet? I see you doing runs for the witch almost every day. I'm starting to feel left out. 
Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, yes, sir. Polystyrene, you need polystyrene, right? Yeah, that's right, polystyrene. If you're having trouble finding it, there's a wrecked truck down on Highway 97, south of Chamon, beneath the water tower. Think you can find it? I'm not... Look, I'll find it, the wrecked truck, okay? I'll get you your, uh, polystyrene. See that you do. We've out. St. John, this is Colonel Garrett. Report. Yes, sir. Corporal, yes. This is of the utmost urgency. A soldier, an officer, has gone AWOL. Uh, an officer? A traitor of the worst kind. He murdered two enlisted men and stole a bike from the motor pool. He's been spotted on the South Rim Drive. The stolen bike has a blue tank. Find him, Corporal. Yes, sir. I'll, I'll chase him down. Corporal, bring him back. Alive. We're going to hang him, Corporal. An example for anyone who thinks they are above militia regulations. Who thinks they are above the laws of God. Uh, yes, sir. Dismiss, Corporal. Now I just gotta find Weaver's shit. Polystyrene. Nest. Whew. Gotta be right around here. There's another nest. Uh, gonna need more. Uh, gonna need more. Whew, I smell a nest. Gotta be right here. Almost enough. Just a few more. Okay, one more piece. The 
this ought to do it. I'll mark the rest on my map. Have Corey send some men out here to get the rest. St. John to Whitaker, I, uh... Uh, Corporal St. John, yes. Matt, the Colonel is here. I was just telling him how helpful you've been. Corporal St. John? Yes. Lieutenant Whitaker has been singing your praises. Just doing my job, Colonel. Uh, sir? I'm glad. Lieutenant Whitaker's work is well behind schedule. Perhaps with your help. Matt, I told you. Biology, the work that I'm doing, is far more complicated than just building a bomb. Weaver is... Lieutenant Weaver is ahead of schedule. If you don't make similar progress, I'm going to have to pull resources from you and give them to him. Is that clear, Lieutenant? Yes, sir, Colonel. Carry on. Uh, is everything okay? It sounds a lot like... Uh, Sorry, I have to go. Nothing. Hey, I uh, got the shit you were asking for. Oh, good, good. Set it down over there. Let me get a piece. Okay. That's good. So how are things going with Lieutenant Whitaker? How do you mean? <laughs> I see you coming and going, man. You're doing a lot of runs for her. Yeah, I'm just doing my job. <laughs> okay, man. Yeah, I tried to hit that once when I first got here. Is that right? Oh, yeah, dude. I mean, that lady's got a fine ass. I'm an ass man. I can't help myself. Yeah, yeah. How'd that work out for you? Well, not too good. I mean, she threw me down on the ground, tried to break my goddamn arm. Listen up. You need to watch yourself with her. That lady's intense. Yeah, I'm gonna keep that in mind. Uh, you know anything else? 
Uh, no, but grab these and follow me. Lady's got a fine ass. A few weeks back, we were riding west along the old Belknap Road. Ran into a bunch of crazy assholes, almost naked, all scarred up like they took a knife. You see, polystyrene is an aromatic Joe hydrocarbon, while rippers. gasoline is made up of the simple aliphatic hydrocarbon. You try saying that. Anyway, mix the two together, all those molecular chains break up into single covalent bonds. Yeah, everybody knows that. That, my friend, is a napalm molotov, and that is how we're gonna win this war. Once I fine-tune the formula, that shit's gonna burn hotter than an acetylene torch! Know how that is? Yeah, I got a pretty good idea. I worked in an auto shop. Do you need anything else? Nah, man. I'm good. So goddamn close. <laughs> Kaboom! <laughs> gonna blow up and burn, son! Taking it to the ass! St. John, report to me in the Diamond Lake outpost. Captain, yes, sir. Closer look. Which way? You're mine now. Colonel, I've spotted him. It's him all right. Remember, Corporal, I want him alive. Mike, someone's here. Yes, sir, Colonel. I'll get him. St. John out. All right. Come on, you asshole. Damn it! No! Okay, 
what the hell? Going AWOL is one thing, but you didn't have to murder two men to do it. Uh, Michael, please, just let me go. I'll, I'll tell you where I, I stashed you, I swear. Sorry, pal. I told to the colonel. Colonel, Freaks. I've got him. Freaks. Alive. Transmitting me. coordinates now. Corporal, good. I'm sending a patrol now. Report back to me. Fair enough. Sarah. Yeah, just um, put it on the counter, will you? Okay. I'm I'm sorry. It's this is just really frustrating for me sometimes. I wouldn't know. Uh, I I just need another requisition form. No, you know what? I'm I, I'm not going to give this one to you. Why? Why not? So I'm gonna go with you this time. Let's go. Come on, soldier. See if you can keep up with me. Yeah, right. When's the last time you went on a run? I mean, you know, out in the shed. Hey, I've done supply runs like anyone else. I gotta admit, it's been a while. You even have a bike? Yeah, but uh, <clears throat> I think I'm gonna ride with you on this run. No chance of us getting separated that way. Yes, ma'am. Stop with. Hey, you uh, you been inside the ark yet? Uh, the cave's here. Yeah, I got the grand tour when I arrived from the colonel himself. Come on, even you got to give the man some credit for the vision, it's stockpiling, preparing, saving what we can. Yeah, well, I'll give him this. This island is a goddamn fortress. Nothing's gonna get in here without a hell of a fight. Exactly. Here, this is my tent. Wow, nice place. It's got that woman's touch. Oh, right. I'm hardly ever here, and most nights I usually spend it on a cot in the lab. Look at this. This'll get the job done. It was a gift from Matt when I first joined up. Matt? The Colonel. Oh, Jesus, come on, Deacon. It's just a gun. Come on. Let's go this way. I want to show you something. Following you. When I got here, the militia had cut down almost every tree on the island. I asked Matt, the Colonel, to save the last one. Oh, yeah? Well, why did you, uh, do that? Do you remember the weekend we rode up here? To Crater Lake, I mean, after we got married. Uh, yeah, I, I, I remember. I remember thinking, God, when Mount Mazama blew up, how long did it take for the lava to cool and the soil to form, all these trees to grow? When all this is over, when we leave this fucking island, I want there to be at least one tree left. Uh, listen, these guys don't give a shit about any of that. I've... 
I've been through their dead zone. Look, the Colonel's focused on winning the war. The sooner I do my part, the sooner he'll stop burning everything to the ground. What's wrong? No, nothing. It's just... <sighs> Never mind. Hold on, uh... Hold on tight. There's a community college east of here. Off the highway. You know the one? Yeah, yeah. Uh... Let's take the South Bridge. It'll be faster. I'm with you. Hey, so I gotta ask, uh, all this stuff, the, the yeast, the silicon... Why do I need it? The weapon I'm working on is a viricide. If I can isolate the virus that causes the cells to mutate, I can kill it. Okay. you something? After that night in Farewell, what happened? I mean, how did you get out? Well, we almost didn't. After the feds pulled out, anyone still alive started putting up roadblocks of their own, and they started shooting people on sight. We somehow made it to that refugee camp where we, where we thought that you were going to be waiting, but like I said, it was gone. So we tried a few others, same story. No survivors, everything overrun. So within a week, the whole damn valley was a war zone. People were killing each other over scraps of food, sometimes killing each other for no reason at all. If Boozer and I hadn't stuck together, I don't think we would have made it. Wait, Boozer? He's alive? Where is he? What happened to him? Yes, he's alive, but he's he's at a camp up north. He can't ride anymore because because he lost his arm. But uh but he is alive. I'm so glad he's alive. I, I'm really sorry. I, I should have asked you about him sooner. Don't worry about it. Okay, uh, my turn. Look, it's gonna sound stupid, but, um, that night in Farewell, my mongrel's ring, do you still have it? Deacon, I'm sorry. It's the Colonel's policy. They, they confiscate all jewelry when you come into the camp. They melt down the gold and silver to use in Weaver's project or whatever the hell. I forgot all about it. I'm, I'm really sorry. Uh, no, don't worry about it. I don't know. I was just thinking out loud. It doesn't matter. Here, I think this is it. Once, before, you know, career day, they invited me to give a presentation on exciting careers in biochemistry. God. What? Nothing, just looking back, it should have been a talk on how to survive the end of the world. Come on. How are we gonna get through this? Should we find a way around? No, uh, hold on. I can boost you up there. You ready? Yeah. Uh, you got it? <clears throat> got it. Here, watch your head. Got it. Jesus, what the hell happened here? This is one of the earliest survivor camps, set up before they figured out that hordes like to run along the main highways. It was dead long before I got here. This entire place is gonna be crawling. Yeah. 
Do you know where we're going? Like I said, I've only been here once, but I think the science building is back there. Ah, damn it, Roots. Okay. Wait, 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 wait a second. What's wrong? Well, I mean, I don't want to bring the whole place down in this. We don't even know what's in there. Well, we know what's in there. A bunch of goddamn noobs. Now, come on, let's just go around. We're not getting through here. No. Uh, whoever was living here jammed the place up pretty good. How about through here? The door's locked, but it doesn't look barricaded. Can you jimmy it? Here, let me try. I think I can get this. Ah, there. Not so hard. Through here, looks clear. Coming. Here, uh, help me move this. Hold on, okay. Okay, ready? Push! <laughs> There. We're just gonna pull them down on top of each other, so... Wait a second, what if... You come up on top of here. You lay down covering fire. <laughs> you take out the strikers, I'll take out the rest. Are you sure about this? Yeah, 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 I do this all the time. Just keep up a steady stream of fire, all right? Deacon. Once I'm through... Just close this up. Come on down. It's clear. You okay? God, Jesus, that was a little too close. No, we had it all the way. Gunfire's gonna bring in more. Yeah, we'll be long gone by then. Where now? Uh, I don't know. Uh, they got the place barricaded up pretty good. Uh, see if there's a hole in any of these walls. Place where we can climb up. All right, I'll look over here. Anything? No. Hey, over here, there's an open window. Coming. <clears throat> you got it? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I got it. Hold on, let me find something. Ah, uh, Sarah? Hold on. I gotta find something I can throw down. Oh shit! Oh, Deacon! Oh shit, shit, shit! God damn it! Uh, just find something for me to climb on! Damn it! back to school. Oh, yeah, well. And now you finally got your way. <laughs> well, better late than never. Oh, okay. Thanks. You ready? Mm-hmm. Let's go. All right. Here, let me go first this time. Yes, ma'am, whatever you say. It's like a bomb went off in here. 
Maybe one did. Come on. I think we can get through here. Open. The door's jammed. Here. Yeah, I got this. I got it. See? I told you. See? Like I said, I got this. Good job. Thanks. So, uh, how badly do you need this piece of equipment? All right, we're almost there. Look, we're not giving up now. I'm just asking. Wow, now we know how the freaks were getting in. Someone needed to learn how to park. It looks clear. <laughs> Shit! More barricades, and they're everywhere. Huh, uh, check the buildings. I can see the science building, it's over there. Just gotta get through these barriers. Hey, another open window. Got it. Here, let me boost you up again. Uh, only this time you... Don't take so long finding something for you to climb. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Got it! Okay, hold on. Hey, and try not to attract any more swarmers this time, all right? Sure, yeah, I'll see what I can do. Sarah! Sarah! Sarah, hold on! Damn it, Sarah! 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 No! Damn it! No! Sarah! Sarah! Where are you? Come on, answer me! If anything's happened to you, Sarah! I'm gonna kill every one of you fucking bastards. Sarah? Sarah! Sarah! There's, there are so many of them. I just kept coming. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You're okay. Come on. I'm fine. Come on, we're almost there. This is the science building. Yeah, it looks like this place has been shut up tight from the inside. Come on, there's got to be a way in. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah. I've killed freaks before. Oh, I know, I know. It's just... Deacon, I'm fine. Let's go. Let's check this door. Can you open it? No, it's jammed from the inside. Let's go around the building. There has to be a way in. I'm telling you, someone sealed it tight from the inside. Well, we gotta check, right? It's okay. I'm sure Jammed we'll like find all the rest. Another way. Oh, shit. Wait, sorry. Hold on. Hold on for a second. Those are. Those are newts. They're inside. Those are newts in there, which means. There's gotta be a way up in the roof. Come on.
Come on, the roof's low over here. Yep, we just have to find a way up. Sarah, here, uh, help me push this. We can use it to climb up. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Okay, push. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, hold up. You got it? Yeah. Okay, be ready. Newts can get pretty nasty when you trespass on their territory. I just really wish we could to kill the little I don't even know what they're doing. That's the last of them. You enjoyed that? What, killing newts? No, but... I mean, you gotta admit, they're pretty goddamn annoying. You're right about that. Here, give me your hand. Okay. Careful. Steady. I got this. but they smell like shit. Yeah, well, you try living like them. See how you smell after two years. No, thanks. Where, where, where are we going? Try these doors. Uh, one of these is gonna be a lab or a lecture room. Centrifuge has to be here somewhere. No sign of a violence or attack. Hemlock. Jesus. Over here. Is this that the uh, centrifuge you were looking for? Yep, this is it. Come on. Job of hiding the bike. All right, let's do this. Stay put and keep your head down. Yeah, good idea. Awesome. 
Cap. I see him. It's as clear as it's gonna get. Let's move. Okay. All right, I got it. Let's go. He can stay down. Yeah, got it. Newts. Huh, damn it. Clear. Let's move. Hold on a second. I gotta get the centrifuge. Okay. 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 Alright, I got it. You don't need these. Oh, Jesus, that was a really big gun. <sighs> yeah. Sort of noticed that. more of them, a lot more. We're gonna have to clear them out before we can get to the bike. You got any more of those smoke grenades? Yeah. From up here, you can see the entire parking lot. Watch where I'm going, and then you throw the grenades ahead of me. You got it? Got it. Okay, let's do this. Fire! Fire! Go! We got him! We got him! Get down! I'm moving you killed me!
last of them. Okay, hold on. I'm coming to you. You all right? Am I all right? What's wrong with you? Oh, I don't know. It's just that I remember the day that I met you. You fired my gun in the air to scare up those rednecks, and you're so scared you couldn't stop shaking. Yeah, well, lots changed since then. <clears throat> Come on, let's get the hell out of here. What uh, happened to you, Sarah? What's that supposed to mean? Hey, look, I get it. A lot's changed. Everyone we knew is gone, but it doesn't explain. Explain what, Deacon? Why everyone in the good old boys club calls me the Wizard Island Witch? Look, I don't give a shit about any of that. I... Nothing's happened to me that hasn't happened to every other fucking person on this planet. Yeah. Okay. If you say so. Come on, let's go this way. After you. Can I say thank you? No. <laughs> okay. You know, I just wanted to let you know how much I needed this. Hey, what are you? What are you doing here? D. Corporal in command. Sergeant, how's it going? Yeah, gonna make me a quadrillionaire, right? <laughs> yeah, okay. Corporal St. John, I'll see you around, yeah? I used to wait tables at this little place. And... Taylor, what's going on? Man, can you believe this shit? Fucking Captain Curry's got me on guard duty. Don't. Like, something's gonna happen to the dock in the middle of all this. Yeah, it's a tough job, but I'm sure you got it covered. All right? Yeah, yeah. Hey, what's going on with you, man? You got some, uh, some saddle sores or something? Need a dock to lube you all up? How's the ear? What? I can't hear you. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, man. I'm feeling no pain, brother. Doc's got me on some oxy. Shit, it's tight. I'm fine, man. I'm fine. Oh, hey, uh, I saw the lieutenant earlier. She was trying to get something from the dock. Yeah? Yeah, I thought you'd want to know. All right, well, thanks. See you around, Taylor. Yeah, man. Mr. Osbien, you'll be fine. Just don't start any bar fights. <laughs> no promises, Doc. <laughs> you know, me parece. It's, I was thinking it's been a while since I've been in the shit. I'm getting soft. Estoy hablando. <laughs> Are you kidding? Oh, you're serious. You want to go on a run with me? I used to ride myself before the world went to hell, you know. All right, well, let's go. Corporal. Doc. Going someplace? 
Coronel, it's been a while since I've been on a run. I was going to go oh, and go no, for some no, time. No, no, no. I don't think so. Cor Coronel? No entiendo. I don't know what I'd do if I lost you. If anything were to happen to you, you can't be replaced. This Sir, I can look out for him. You Dismissed, Corporal. <coughs> Matt, I've been out in the shit before. I understand. But again, if anything were to happen to you, I... I don't know what I'd do if I... I don't know what I'd do if I lost you. 